here at signing day with Hedgesville head coach Kelly Church. Uh, coach Church, what can you say about uh, Cam Wilkes and Stephon Barclay and what they brought to your team while they're at Hedgesville? Well, um, you know, obviously, uh, both of them tremendous, uh, tremendous athletes and, and uh, you know, their basketball skills. But, uh, you know, all that aside, like, you know, when I when I just when I spoke to the parents briefly before they, they, they signed their letters of intent, like, uh, you know, the, we, we really do. We talk about it here all the time, like the, the relationships you build. Uh, you know, obviously, they, they help us. They helped us win basketball games. Uh, but, you know, they made a difference in our school. They're, they're, they're good kids that, um, you know, teachers like having in class. Um, and, we're, and we're part of our community. Um, you know, basketball-wise, obviously, uh, you know, Steph's athleticism, Cam's skill and shooting ability, hopefully will bode well for both of them and, and for Potomac State. Coach Streets does a great job. And he's, a, he's a young guy. I met him a, a few years ago. And uh, ever since then, you know, we've, we've built a relationship. And um, you know, I tell the kids all the time that relationships is, is what it's really about and can make a big difference in your future. And so, uh, you know, both of them have, have done what they needed to do academically. Uh, and, you know, uh, came here with aspirations of playing college basketball and through their hard work and, and relationships and, uh, you know, making phone calls and doing different things, you're able to make some things happen for them. So I'm extremely happy for them and their family uh, that both of them have the opportunity to go on and play basketball at the collegiate level. What do you think it's going to be like for them to get to continue to play together at the next level? Well, I, I you know, it's not even the playing together. I think that part will be fun eventually. Uh, but, you know, it's the... Not, not, not having a complete panic of who's your roommate going to be. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I think they're going to end up rooming together. Uh, you know, Coach brought down, I think they're both going to get to wear their numbers. Uh, you know, little things like that, kids, really. I mean, it's silly that that's what they care about a lot, but they're both going to get to wear their same numbers they wore here. Um, you know, uh, and they're, they're, they're probably going to room together. Uh, basketball players will all be together up there, I think. And, uh, but they're going to room together, and they're really, really excited about that. And so I think that eases the transition. Uh, one of the things that I've said about, about Berkeley County just in general, even when, when the twins who ended up, you know, one went to Marshall and the other went to the Merchant Marine Academy. But, like, uh, there was part of Alex that was considering just, just going to Shepherd. Um, and part of the reason he was considering, and when I say just, I don't mean in a slight at all. It's, just, it's a really, really good school, and it's right beside us. This place is, is such a, you know, we're so fortunate to live in the Eastern Panhandle. Uh, we just have so many blessings here that while we're, we're close to big cities, but, you know, there's a, there's a safe feel here. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's hard to get kids to want to leave that. And so, uh, you know, they're going to Potomac State, which isn't that far away, uh, but it's far enough away where, you know, if they want to do laundry, they're going to have to come home on a weekend, not on a Monday night. So, um, but we're, we're excited for them. And, um, you know, and, and it, you know, obviously it says a little bit about what we do here at Hedgesville High School in terms of basketball kids. We've had in the 25 years, like, you know, we've had you know, close to 40, 43, 44 kids go on and, and play college basketball. And uh, so helping them be able to do that to give them some incentive to, to continue and chase their degrees is what's really, really important. And overall, uh, your senior class that's departing this year, a very special senior class, uh, What's it going to be like to, I guess, kind of replace those guys, but also, you know, to see what they do at the next level or whatever they decide to do with the rest of their lives? Well, uh, you know, again, same thing. Like, uh, for me, one of the fortunate things was all five of them had an opportunity, if they wanted to, uh, to, to participate in collegiate athletics. Uh, I think uh, and Damon Cook's going to, going to go to Shepard uh, and just be a student. Uh, he had an opportunity to go and play, and um, but, you know, he just, you know, he's ready to move on from it. Uh, uh, and, and, Christian, uh, you know, uh, Bull Duke Home Improvement's a pretty good company, uh, and his his dad does a, a great job. And Christian's worked with him ever since he was 12 years old, and so uh, Christian had an opportunity to go and play as well. But I think he's decided he's just going to start working with his dad right away and and start making money and has his own his own lawn care business that, that Christian does on his own. That uh, you know he, he used to cut my grass when he was 12 years old. So um, you know he does that. Uh, so we're um, you know, and then Jackson's still playing baseball. Uh, and he, he certainly has an opportunity to play that and, and basketball in college, but I think he's going to end up focusing on baseball, maybe football, but, but probably baseball. And uh, so, you know, right now everybody's just enjoy, enjoying the, the, you know, the end of their senior year. For me, one of the things that makes it feel really, really good is with the exception of Jackson, who's not quite sure yet but does have opportunities, the, the, the kids aren't in panic mode. What am I going to do now? And there's lots of kids in this world we live in as you finish high school, they're just not sure what they're going to do, whether it be academically, 
you know, trade wise, whatever they're going to do. And, and I feel pretty good about the fact that our kids all have a plan. Um, we're doing the best we can to help them execute that plan. We're here with Cam Wilkes, committed to Potomac State. Uh, Cam, how excited are you to get to continue to play basketball at the next level? I'm just ready to start the next chapter, man. I mean, it was a long recruitment process, but finally found somewhere to go and ready to play. Getting to go and play with your uh, teammate, Stefan Barkley, that's got to be exciting as well to you know, know somebody on the team and know somebody when you're going there. Right, yeah. I mean, hopefully I get to room with him, but that's my guy. So, I mean, I get to play with him a couple more years and see, see how that goes. And you already uh, are familiar with some of the guys on the team being Martinsburg players up there. Uh, so that's got to be – you know, nice to know some guys that are already there as well. Right, yeah. I know a couple more guys. I got some people down in Virginia that I know. So, I mean, it should be fun. It should be, should be a cool little atmosphere. What kind of drew you to Potomac? The coaching staff, I mean, they showed they wanted me, and then they got me. So, ready to play. What are you going to miss most about your time at Hedgesville? The coaching staff. I mean, those are my guys. I was only here two years, but, I mean, they made me feel like family. So, it was cool. All right, Cam, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. We're here with Stefan Barclay. Stefan, uh, on your signing day, excited about going to Potomac State. What led to that decision? I'm extremely excited. The coaches pretty much stuck me through the whole process. So that's pretty much what made me stick with them because they stuck with me. You spent one year here at Hedgesville. What kind of uh, what did you take away from your final senior season here? Uh, we really learned how to play as a team. I feel like that was really important. It showed me uh, how to have people's back when they have mine. And getting to play with your teammate Cam and there's already some guys at Potomac State that you played with as well at Martinsburg so what's that going to be like? I was going to be really excited I'm ready for it. All right Stefan anything else? No that's it thank you. Good luck. Thank you. We're here with Potomac State head coach Ryan Streets. Coach uh, able to land Stefan Barclay and Cam Wilkes today on their signing day. Um, what did you see in their game that would wanted you to bring them to Potomac? Yeah, uh, a huge day. I mean, super excited for these guys and their families. Um, you know, anytime you get uh, kids from a program uh, from Kelly Church, I mean, uh, I mean, he's just one of the best in the business uh, when it comes to high school hoops. Uh, you know, they're just, you know, Cam can score the ball really, I mean, at will. Uh, he did it all year long, um, and we're really excited for that. You know, uh, that's what we need. We need we need someone to be able to come in and score for us. Uh, and Stefan, he can score as well, uh, but we're really excited about his length and athleticism and what he can do on the defensive end um, as well. So, You already have a few guys from the Eastern Panhandle on your team. Uh, how do you think that helps as well to – you know, recruit in this area. What do you like about recruiting down here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, there's a lot of good basketball in this area. I think anytime you you get any you get a group of guys that know each other and have played uh, against each other or with each other, you know, travel basketball. I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything but help you in your program for sure. Anything else really stand out to you about either one of these guys and what they're going to bring to Potomac? Yeah, I just think you you know we're we're really trying to to, to change change the culture uh, at Potomac State. This is, we're going into my second year um, uh, at the helm, and you know I'm really looking forward to, to change the culture. And Coach Church just has such a good culture here. You know I think that these two guys can really be help. You know build that culture and be the foundation uh, of that culture for us uh, for years to come. So, All right, Coach, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.